Hello friends, this video on our environment part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We will now talk about another important concept called food chain. So, so far we saw the different levels of consumers and we also saw that how living organisms depend on one another for their food. So now this dependency of living organisms on one another is defined or is described in a food chain. So what is a food chain? The word chain means many small objects connected together forming a long rope like structure. That is a chain. So series of living organisms <coughs> feeding on one another is known as a food chain. So let us look at an example so that the concept becomes clearer. For example, plants, deer, tiger. So if you see, plants are the producers here, right? Because they are producing food. Now these animals, deer, they feed on plants. And these deer are then fed upon by animals like a tiger. So this is forming a food chain. That means plants which are eaten by a deer. Deer in turn is eaten by a tiger. So this is a series of living organisms feeding on one another. So this is called as a food chain. Right? Now it is not only two or three animals involved in a food chain. There can be many animals involved in a food chain. <clears throat> For example, let us look at the steps in a food chain. That means a food chain can have two steps, it can have three steps, it can have four steps. So what do we mean by steps in a food chain? Let us look at the smallest and simplest food chain. A food chain with two steps. That means the first step is the plants. The next one is elephants feeding on plants. So that is the food chain. So nobody else is feeding on any elephants. So it is a small two steps food chain because it involves two living organisms. Similarly, we can have a food chain with three steps. The one which we considered in the last slide, maybe deer feeding on plants and these deer in turn is fed upon by the tiger. Similarly, we can have a four stepped food chain. For example, goat, they feed on grasses. Then you have jackals who feed on the goats. And these jackals in turn are eaten by the lions. So this is a food chain involving four steps. Similarly, you can have a food chain with five steps as well. For example, you have the grasses which are eaten by the grasshoppers. The frogs feed on the grasshoppers. Snakes feed on the frogs. And the hawk feeds on the snakes. So you see the number of steps keep increasing, right? So when I talk of food chain, it is not necessary that it has to involve only one or two organisms. It can involve many organisms as well. But generally it is seen that a food chain consists of three to four levels, not more than that. Now, why so? That we will talk as we go ahead with this topic. So let us look at the trophic levels in a food chain. What do we mean by trophic levels? <clears throat> so each level of a food chain is termed as trophic level. So just now I was talking about the steps, right? So those steps are nothing but each level of a food chain and each such level is known as a trophic level. So this is a term which is given to the level of a food chain. So if I talk about, let us look at the same example. Let us look at the, the five-stepped food chain where grass is eaten by grasshopper which in turn is eaten by frog which in turn is eaten by snakes and then by the hawks. So let us look at this example. So which is the first level of these food chain? The plants that is the producers right. So these plants prepare food by the process of photosynthesis in presence of sunlight. So they form the first trophic level. So the first trophic level are always the producers. Which is the next level? The next trophic level are the grasshoppers. So these are the next trophic level. So plants are the first trophic level. Then comes the third trophic level. Who are the third trophic level? The frogs. So basically we can say that second trophic level was nothing but the herbivores, right? In the third tropic, trophic level, we have 
the carnivores. Maybe we can call them as the small carnivores or we can call them as the secondary consumers, right? So you have different names now. So these are the maybe small carnivores. Then comes the fourth tropic level, which is nothing but the snakes. So we can say they are little larger carnivores. And then comes the hawk, which is the fifth tropic level, right? So as the level keeps increasing in a food chain, we call them as first tropic level, second tropic level, third tropic level, and so on, right? So now you understand what is a food chain? What do we mean by trophic levels in a food chain? A food chain can have two levels, it can have three levels, it can have four levels and five levels as well. <clears throat> so let us look at some examples of food chains in various ecosystems. So we, before starting with this, um, as we started with this lesson, we have spoken about the ecosystems, right? So let us see how food chains exist in different ecosystems. Let us look at the ecosystem forest, right? So here we can consider a food chain like this, where plants in the forests are eaten by goats, which in turn are eaten by the jackals, and the jackals in turn are eaten up by the lions. So this is an example of a food chain existing in forest. Similarly, can you think of a food chain existing in a pond where you have water, where you have fishes, you have insects, you have aquatic plants. So here you can see that the small plants which exist inside the water. When you go, I mean from the surface you cannot see, but when you go inside the water you can see that there are small plants which exist inside the pond. So these plants are eaten by small insects present inside the water which in turn are eaten by small fishes and the small fishes in turn are eaten by the bigger fish. So this is a food chain existing in a pond. Similarly garden. So in your garden you would have seen that the plants may be the rose plant. So that is being fed by the small green flies in the garden which are which are very commonly seen now these small green flies in turn are eaten by these ladybirds they in turn are eaten by these small birds and these birds are eaten up by a bigger bird like a hawk right so this is a uh, food chain which exists in your garden right so these are some of the examples of food chains in different ecosystems. Similarly, you can think of food chains in many other ecosystems, for example, in an ocean or um, in a river or maybe in a zoo or aquarium. So everywhere you can think of such food chains because these kind of food chains exist in every ecosystem. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.